Well, good evening, everyone. Praise the Lord. Praise Welcome the Lord. to our hour of our Bible study. Come on in, hit like and share. Hope you've had a great day today. I am the senior pastor here, Pastor Eric Cooley. We're here live at our parsonage in Port Gibson, Mississippi. So if you would, as you come in, you would hit like and hit share. We're doing what's called virtual evangelism. Evangelism is the heart of God. If we're not reaching out to people and getting people born again, then we're just really wasting time. So if you would share this with five people, or they may already be born again, they just need to hear an encouraging word. I guarantee you tonight you're not going to speak the same after hearing this word. So go on, share it with five people. Go ahead and get your Bible and your notebook. We're going to walk you through the word of God. I believe wholeheartedly that God has a word for us in due season during this time. Amen? But again, so glad to have you all. Come on in. Glory to God. And put, and, and, and tonight, when you come in, uh, type in the word good. G-O-O-D. Something good is going to happen to you. Those of you here tonight say it with me. Something good is going to happen to me. have a word of prayer while you're inviting others to come on. Share this with at least five people. We're going to pray, get right into the word, so you go on and enjoy the rest of your evening. Amen? Mm -hmm. Let's pray. Father, in Jesus' name, Lord, we give you glory and honor. We magnify your holy name. Nobody like you. Nobody as great as you. No one as awesome as you, and we reverence and thank you for being our loving Heavenly Father. We thank you for being on our side. We thank you for watching over us and protecting us. We thank you for the precious shed blood of Jesus that gives us access into your presence. We thank you that that same blood makes us righteous, not because of what we do, but because of what Jesus has done. We stand before you as the righteousness of God in Christ. We thank you, Father God. We're not trying to be right. We were born into righteousness, and we we thank you for that right now. We thank you that we're at right standing with you. And we can come boldly to your throne that we can find grace to help in our time of need. And we stand in your presence without a spirit of guilt or inferiority or condemnation or shame. We thank you that we are the head and never again the tail. We are above only and we are not beneath. We are the victorious one. We overcome by the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimony. The Lord is on our side. What can man do unto us? If God is for us, then who can be against us? Hallelujah. When the wicked and our enemies came upon us, they stumbled and fell. Hallelujah. And Lord, we give you praise. We just come before you with thanksgiving. We don't come before you murmuring. We come with thanksgiving. We come with hands uplifted. Thank you, your Lord God. We open our mouth and give you thanks, Father. We glorify your name. We honor your name. You're so good. You're so awesome. You're so mighty. Hallelujah. Many of us 
first thing to look at the beginning, it says Psalms 27 and 1, the Lord is my life and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? And we even sing about that here. But let's go on and down to verse 13 where our text scripture is. And let's read verses 13 and 14 out loud. Read it. Read. I have said it unless I have believed to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait on the Lord. Be of good courage and he shall strengthen thy heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. Let me read that to you out of the Amplified. Verse 13 out of the Amplified Bible says this. What, what would become of me had I not believed that I would see the goodness, that I would see the Lord's goodness in the land of the living? Wait and hope for it and expect the Lord. Somebody say expect. Expect. Be brave and of good courage and let your heart be stout and enduring. Yes, wait for and hope for and expect the Lord. Well, Pastor, I thought the goodness of God was automatic. Even though God is good, but the goodness of God is not automatic. We have to believe God for his goodness. Everything we get in the kingdom, we get by faith through grace. Say that by faith, by by faith, faith through, grace. through grace. So that means you can't earn the goodness of God. You know, a lot of times we paint this picture of God in the church that, you know, God is good to us mm -hmm. because we're good. No, God is good because he's good. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't matter if you're good or not, God is still good. There's another scripture, and Minister Lisa, look this scripture up for me. There's a scripture, uh, it says that the goodness of of God. The goodness of God will lead us to repentance. God will blow your mind even when you're in the midst of the mess and your booth in the back in the corner in the dark. God will blow your mind and be so good to you that you'll run to him and you say, Lord, you know what? I apologize for the way I've been living. I'm going to turn and go the other way. The goodness of the Lord will lead us to repentance. So if you don't have to be good, for God to be good to you. Say that. I don't have to be good. I don't have to be good. For God to be good to me. For God to be good to me. Why? Come on, say why. Why? Because God loves me. Because God and loves unfortunately, me. Unfortunately, in the body of Christ, we have a deficiency in really believing and knowing that God loves us because we've been taught all this erroneous stuff that God is out to get us. God caused the pandemic. He's using, he's, he's caused the pandemic to teach us a lesson. He caused the coronavirus. No. The Bible says, go to James. And I'm going to help myself. Psalms 33 and 5. Psalm 33 and 5. All right. Uh, I don't believe that's it. I think it's in the New Testament. The New Testament. You all can, you always can look, look. Yes. Uh -huh. The goodness of the Lord leads us to repentance. Go to James 1 and 17. James 1 and 17. James 1. And if we don't get it, that's okay. We'll have it next time. I should have I should have written it down. Romans 2 and 4. Romans what? 2 and 4. Romans 2 and 4. Thank you, Minister Shirley. Romans 2 and 4. But right now, go to James 1 and 17. I, my task tonight is to show you from the word that God is good. That God is not the author of anything bad. Well, why do bad things happen, Pastor Kula? Because of the fall. The original sin of man, because of what Adam did in the garden, mm -hmm. that's how sin and chaos and storms and, and bad things came up on the earth. It's because of man's original sin in the Garden of Eden. That's why bad things happen. Not because God uh, is causing it to happen. Now, why is God allowing it to happen? Because God has to honor what he left his man in charge. When he left Adam in charge, Adam messed it up. So God, Jesus came to clean it up. But because of what Adam did, God still has to honor that because God is a God of justice. Okay, God is a God of this. So God is not causing the bad things that go on in the world. We Amen. need to renew our mind to that. Because so many of us in church, we preach that suffering, God caused it, you know, everything bad that happened. And we take a scripture out of context in Romans that says, all things work together for good to them that love God. Well, uh, everything that happened in your life, it can work for good, but it ain't working for your good. And God didn't cause it. That scripture is talking about prayer. That scripture
scripture is not talking about everything that's going on in your life. It's taken out of context. But I want to show you tonight from the word of God that one, our God, your God, our Heavenly Father, Jehovah, he's good. He's good all the time. He's good during the pandemic. He's good before the pandemic. Amen. He's good in the pandemic. Amen. And he's going to be good after the pandemic. Somebody Amen. say hallelujah. hallelujah. All right, James 1. We got to check up and make sure that what we believe, it lines up with scripture, with the whole counsel of the word of God. Anybody can live one scripture out of the Bible and make it say whatever they want to say, but we got to read in context. Somebody say context. Context. James chapter 1, mm -hmm. verse 17. It says this. Every good gift mm -hmm. and every perfect gift is from where? Above. Above. And coming down from the Father of lights, mm -hmm. with whom is no variableness, neither shadow of turning. Mm -hmm. Let me read it to you out of the Amplified. James 1 and 17. Every good gift and every perfect, mm -hmm. free, large, full gift is from above. It come down from the Father of all that gives light in the shining of whom there can be no variation, rising or selling or shadow cast by his turning as it is an eclipse. So everything good that happens in the earth, God does it and it comes from God because good is who he is. Good is not what he has. Good is who he is. God, Jehovah, the real God, El Shaddai, El Elyon, Jehovah El El Shaddai, Jehovah, uh, let me slow down, Jehovah Nisi, Jehovah Shama, Jehovah Bel Perazine, Jehovah Gamola, he's all good. That's who he is. That's his character. Hallelujah to God. God is not mad with you. God is not in a bad mood. God is not frustrated. And God is not upset. The God of the Bible, he is good. Glory to God. Go to Genesis chapter 1. Somebody said God is good. God is good. We believe that we will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Because let me tell you something. If you don't believe that you're going to see it, then you're going to keep experiencing the negative. And let me tell you what happens when a Christian or a believer keeps experiencing so much negative, they never see any goodness. What happens is they usually turn around and go back out of the world. Yeah. Amen? Amen? All right, Genesis yeah. chapter 1. Mm -hmm. Are you with me? With if you're with me out there tonight, why don't you give me some thumbs up, some hands or something. Don't sit there. We want you to be engaged. Amen. We want you to be focused during this thing. Oh, yeah. All right? Now, let's look at this real quick. I want to show you something. Mm -hmm. Genesis chapter 1. We're going to read a couple of different verses, so you got to follow me now. I got so many minutes, I got to get this done. Genesis chapter 1. So we've already established from Scripture that everything that God does is good. Every perfect gift, every good gift come from God. Amen. Gen uh, excuse me, Genesis chapter 1, uh -huh. verse 4. Let's read it. Ready to read. And God, God saw the light, that it was good. And God divided the light from the dark. All right, go to verse 10. Ready to read. And God called a dry land earth and gathered together all the waters called in the sea. And God saw that it was what? Good. Good. Go to verse number 12. Verse 12. And the earth brought forth grass and herb yielding seed after his kind and the tree yielding fruit whose seed was in itself after his kind. And God saw that it was good. God Number 18. Ready to read. And to rule over the day and over the night, and to divide the light from the darkness. And God saw that it was good. Verse 21. Verse 21. Y'all follow me tonight? Ready to read. And God created wells and every living creature that moved, which the water brought forth abundantly after their kind, and every wing fire after their kind. And God saw that it was good. 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 Verse 31. And God saw everything. Everything. Circle that, underline that, highlight that. And God, Jehovah, Elohim, the self-existing God, God saw everything that he made. And behold, it was what? Good. No. Very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. It was very good. Okay? So everything Elohim, the creator God, that's what 
Elohim means the creator God, E-L-A-E-L-O-H-I-M. Elohim, the creator God, everything he created was good. There is no badness in God. There is no sickness in God. There is no accident in God. There is no racism in God. Amen. There is no hatred in God. There is no calamity in God. There are no storms in God. Hallelujah. God, Jehovah, Elohim, Amen. I am the great I am. He is good. Amen. And guess what? We're believing to see his goodness. Go to Romans. Romans chapter 2. Romans chapter 2, so then faith coming by hearing. and hearing by what? The, the word of God. If you don't hear no word, you won't have any faith. Mm -hmm. Romans chapter 2. Romans chapter 2, mm -hmm. verse number 4. Thank you, Minister Shirley. Mm -hmm. Listen to what the word of God says. God, again, is not good because we're good. God is good because he's good. Or despises thou the riches of his goodness mm -hmm. and forbearance and long suffering, not knowing that the goodness mm -hmm. of God leadeth thee to what? Repentance. Repentance. Not telling folk you're going to hell, not beating folk up and saying, uh -huh. stop doing this and stop doing that, yeah. stop doing this and yeah. stop doing that. You ain't doing this right, and you ain't doing that right, and you having that thing, your nose is fat, and your eyes ugly, and your mama ugly, and all of this. No, no, no. The Bible says that the goodness of God will lead a man or a woman to repentance. I prophesy in the name of Jesus that those of you who are out there, since we haven't been meeting in person, you've gone back and started doing things, I pray that God will be so good to you that you start shouting in Walmart. I pray that God will start being so good to you that when you're trying to get high, that you start speaking in tongues. I you start to, when you start to try to get drunk again, that you start prophesying. Why? Because God will be so good to you. We have a good, good father. Yes, we do. Hallelujah. He is good. And he loves us. He's not mad with us. Lord, give us a deeper revelation of your love. All right? Let's go to Psalms 25 and 8. Psalms 25 and 8. I'm going to give you a lot of scripture tonight. See, i got to run that tradition and religion out of you that says, you know, when it rains, it pours. Someone? When people say that, they are not people of faith, mm -hmm. and they have an experience mm -hmm. in what, what they're believing is, they believe that it's always going to be bad. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When it rains, it pours. The Lord mentioned this to me today. He, he said, when people say that all the time, they don't know and understand my goodness. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because they think it's always got to be something. Things always got to be bad. It's not going to get any better until we get there. No. David said I would have fainted unless I was seeing the goodness of the Lord in the land of the, who? Of the living. You don't have to wait and go to heaven to experience God's goodness. It is God's will for you to experience his goodness in the here and the now. I don't yeah. care how much you messed up. I don't care what kind of mess you're in now. Yeah. It's still God's will to be good to you. Yeah. And that goodness will turn your heart towards yeah. him. And that goodness will cause you to turn to him because you'll realize how good he is. Yeah. You'll realize how good, how much he loves you, how much he's with you, and how much God has a great plan for your life. You're not all washed up. You're not all Amen. finished. Amen. It's not the end. Amen. This is not the end of the world. We got work to do. Glory to God. We got work to do. Stop listening to those doomsday people. The Bible says it will be the beginning of the end, but we are not at the end. Glory to God. And I don't know about you, but I don't want to be called out of here for that mess happening. Glory to God. I don't want to be coming out of that coming out. But right now, you and I got work to do because there are thousands of people around our area who don't know Jesus. We are going to make it hard mm -hmm. for people to go to hell from yeah. this area. Because we're going we're gonna to get a revelation of the love of God and then we're going to demonstrate it. Yeah. We're going to be walking billboards for, for the Lord. Yeah. And then we're going to learn how to talk to people. Oh, grace, yeah. people are gracious. We're going to have a grace yeah. in your mouth. We're going to learn to stop getting offended so easily. Yeah. And always think the best. The Bible says love always thinks the best. Yeah. 
Amen. Sometimes we become, but again, that's because you experience nothing but negativity, and that's all you got in you. Listen to, when you listen to how what a person says, you can locate them every time. Uh -huh. Amen. Amen. Right. Amen. So be quiet for a moment and just listen to them. I'm talking about Christian, good, mm -hmm. loving, God loving, Holy Ghost filled, tongue talking believers. That's true. But they so negative. Yes. Uh -huh. yes. They negative about everything. Why? Because negative is in them. That's the it. answer for negativity is the word. Get in the word, and that negativity, it, it'll push that negativity out. Because it's a positive book. That's right. It's not a negative book, it's a positive book. And everything in the book didn't have, that happened wasn't positive. But it's a positive book for the believer. Amen. Somebody say, Glory to God. Glory to God. Psalm 25 and 8. It said, Who is the king of glory? <laughs> no, I'm making the wrong place. Yeah, yeah. That's still a good one. Psalm 25 and 8. <laughs> good and upright is who? The Lord. Oh, therefore, will he teach sinners in the way? So God is what? Good. Good. Psalm 73 and 1. The Bible says, let everything be established in the mouth of two or three witnesses. Psalm 73 and 1. God is good and we're believing to see the goodness of the Lord in yes. the land of the living. God yes. and who and his goodness is not controlled by the circumstances in this world. God and his goodness is not controlled by what's going on in this world. Mm -hmm. Did you hear what I said? Yeah. Hallelujah. Psalm 73. Right. Verse 1. It says, yeah. Truly God is good to Israel, yeah. even to such as are of a clean yeah. heart. Psalms 85 and 12. Psalms 85 and 12. Amen. Psalms 85 and 12. Mm -hmm. Instead of don't push on a word, push on. Right. Psalm 85 and 12. Mm -hmm. Yea. The Lord shall give that which is good, and our land shall yield her increase. Let's read it again. I want everybody. Psalm 85 and 12. Ready to read. Yay. The, the Lord, Lord shall give, give that which is good, and our land and shall yield her increase. increase. So God is good, and he does desire that you increase. Amen. Stop letting these folk that don't know nothing about the Bible tell you you believe in that prosperity. God. Yes. No, God is the, he's the sum total of prosperity. It is God's will that you be blessed and walk in abundance in every area of your life. Brokenness and poverty did not come from God. Poverty is a spirit that comes from a pillar of hell. Amen. 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 I felt Amen. that resistance in the spirit, but it's Amen. right in the house. Amen. It's right. right. God's will is that you prosper Amen. and be Amen. in hell, even Amen. as your soul is prospering. The reason some of us are not prospering financially because our mind is messed up when it comes to money. Amen. The mind is jacked up when it comes to money. And it's jacked up when it comes to money because money, money is not the sum total of prosperity. Money is the lowest form of prosperity. Money is the lowest form. But money is an area that a lot of believers got a problem with. And you think I'm not going to talk about it because I'm worried about what somebody's going to say. No, I don't want to talk about it. If, if I'm the only one I'm prospering in my church, it's a dead cow.
more than we believe the word, and they don't even know what they're talking about. You go to one channel, they saying this. You go to this channel, they saying that. No, baby, you better believe what the word of God said. And then you better line your mouth up with what okay. God said. Amen. You better speak the word of God. I don't care what they say. I declare and decree in the name of Jesus that COVID-19 is over. There's not a man of our churches to have COVID-19.
There's going to be a step. Listen, there is going to be in the, in the months and the years to come, there is going to be a stark separation of people who really believe the word of those who don't. Mm -hmm. it, it's, it, matter of fact, it's here now. Mm -hmm. wow. It's here now. Glory to God, Psalm 100. Mm -hmm. All that stuff we did before playing church, playing the church game, yeah. getting folk pumped up in their emotions, is not going to work. No, yeah. After the pandemic, it's not going to work. You think folk are going to just run back into church and you're going to just have a praise party? No, people have been bound by fear yeah. because they spend all their time watching the news. And ain't nothing good on the news. Yeah. No, you got to be patient with people. Yeah. And stop trying to get money over people's lives. Come on, Pastor. Yeah. Now, yeah. you got to find out what God is saying to you. You can't yes. even do what I do. Because I'm following God's order. And, and listen, I promise the Lord, I said, Lord, I'm going to be a for the priest. Well, you don't tell me to do it, I'm not doing it anymore. Hallelujah. If you don't tell me to do it, I'm Hallelujah. not doing it anymore. Amen. If you don't tell me to come on early morning prayer anymore, I'm not doing it anymore. Hallelujah. Because wherever God tells me to be, that's where the anointing is. Hallelujah. Okay, how many folks it was good to us? Amen. I'm well and sound. No, if, if did God tell you to do it? Not because right. you wind up wasting time, money, and energy right. when you're doing things that God ain't told you to do. Amen. Amen. But see, it's about a personal relationship. Yes, yes. You Amen. should be developing your personal relationship during this season. <laughs> Some of us, we just wait. Lord, I'd be glad when COVID is over. No. What can you be learning from God? How can you get a deeper relationship with God during COVID-19? How can you find out your purpose during COVID-19? You ain't had nothing but time. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Psalm 100. <clears throat> Yes. Production, I, I'm, I'm lost. How much time I got? Glory to God. Okay, praise God. Psalm 100, verse 5. For the Lord is good, and his mercy is everlasting, and his truth endure to what? All generations. As Dr. Leroy Thompson said, I'm going with me, I'm going with the Bible. God is good. He's good to you and to me. Yes. He's good now. He wants you to believe to see his goodness. Yeah, hey, we're not ignorant. We know that there's some bad stuff going on. That's right. But I believe wholeheartedly that even when it's something bad, there's something good come out of it. Yes. Genesis 50. Yes. Genesis 50. Yes. Ooh, hallelujah. 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 Genesis Amen. chapter 3. Thank you, Jesus. Mm -hmm. I got people who ain't missed a day. Work at a particular place. They ain't missed a day. There's a lot of folk that done had COVID. Mm -hmm. All right. They ain't either one of them got it and they ain't going to get it. Hey. Amen. And they tell me, Pastor, it's all the time. Not because of me, I'm such a great person. It's that Pastor because of the word you put in us. Amen. We go right on up in our place of business, our work, and we ain't scared. They do what they're supposed to do. Oh, they wear their hands. They wash their hands. They, 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 they use their sanitizer. Hey. But they ain't going to get COVID-19. And they're they not going to get it. Why? Because we're speaking the word. Yes. We're standing on the word of God. Yes, Lord. Yes. Now, I'm not saying the other folks can stand. I don't know what nobody else doing. Yes, My job is to mind Eric Cooley business. Yes, Amen. 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 And those are connected to me. Amen. 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 Now, I don't know what other people are. But all I know is the house that I'm in, we're going to preach faith. Amen. And I'm not so afraid. I'm not so so schooled in religion and church mm -hmm. that I always think negative, that I always think it's going to be bad, and that it ain't going to never work out for me. And I'm not afraid to stand on what God's word said because I don't believe it's going to come to pass. The biggest uh, temptation that the enemy uses with believers is not sex. The biggest temptation the enemy uses with believers is us Believing that the word won't come to pass for us. Mm -hmm. In closing. Tell me what the Lord told me today too. The Lord told me today too. He says, uh, there are people, son, who believe that I'm good, but they don't believe I'm good to them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They believe that, yeah, I'm good, but they don't believe I'm good to, will be good to them because they've been so bad. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah, well, let, me tell you let me tell you something. You don't have to be good for God to be good to you. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 You're not a misfit. It's not over for you. God wants to be good to you, but you gotta let it. Amen. Amen. God will not only be good to us; He wants to be good to you, but you gotta believe that He will be. 
You got to have faith that it will be. You got to act like his word is true. Even when your flesh is screaming, you crazy for believing that word. You go up there believing that boy, that boy don't know what he's talking about. <laughs> you go on over there, he don't know what he's talking about. Come on. Mm -hmm. Genesis 50, 20. And I'm done mm -hmm. for tonight. Mm -hmm. I think I gave you enough. Mm -hmm. See, I'm even learning to be led by the Lord. With how long to preach and cut it off. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 So I'm in Genesis 50 to 20. Yeah. But as for you, you thought evil against me. Mm -hmm. But God made it unto good. Yeah. To bring to pass as it is this day to save much people alive. Mm -hmm. This old this old Joseph talked. His yeah. family sold him into slavery. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But they wind up having to buy their knee to Joseph. Mm -hmm. And Joseph, he and he could have, what did you do? When folk have done you wrong and you have the ability to get them back, but you choose not to. Love them. Love them. No, I don't think you understand what I said. Joseph, they sold that boy into slavery and then lied to his dad and told him he was killed. Yeah. And it's, he had the opportunity to turn his back on him. Yeah. Well, yeah. I'm talking about real because you know some of us, yeah. we, we quick to say love them and this and that. And then somebody do something to us, we won't speak it up for six months. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> Your own family. Yeah. Turn their back on you and you had you were put in a position of authority where you could do them back. But you should do them good. Love over good. Revenge is not of God. Mm -hmm. It's not of Joseph said, yeah, y'all meant it for bad. But God turned it around for good because he wanted to use me to keep many people alive. Yeah. I want to encourage you tonight, my brother, my sister, listen. I know it's a lot going on in the world, but I stopped by the team. Mm -hmm. Jesus is absolutely, he adores you. Mm -hmm. you, you. You are the mm -hmm. apple of mm -hmm. his eye. Mm -hmm. He's not mad with you. He's not frustrated. He didn't bring this pandemic to cause you to do whatever. No, John 10 and 10 tells you where the pandemic came from. Yes. The thief, mm -hmm. Satan, Diablo, yes. Yes. Beelzebub, yes. Yes. he coming to steal, yes. kill, yes. and destroy. Yes. Anything that's stealing, anything that's killing, and anything that's destroying is not from God. No, no. But Jesus said, I have come that you might have and enjoy life. In abundance, to the full, to the overflow. Ain't got no song music to play for the night. Do you know Jesus? Yes, God loves you. Do you know him? Can, can, you can get to know him. Listen, I was in church a long time. Doing the, uh, some of what I'm doing now, teaching, but I didn't know the teacher. Singing in the choir, rocking and clapping, but I didn't know the teacher. But one day, I had to say, you know what? Lord, I don't really know you, but I want to know you. Mm -hmm. That's all God wants from you. He wants some willingness. You ain't got to be perfect. Hey, I ain't perfect, but not by a long shot. Amen. But I serve a perfect Jesus who accepts Amen. me as I am and who is showing me every day who I am. Yes. He's revealing my true identity. Yes. Yeah, black lives matter, but it don't matter more than Christ's lives. Yes. How do you matter know who you are in Jesus Christ? And not after this flesh. Lord, reveal God. Right. Because when you get your identity in Christ, then you can walk in the authority and the dominion that God called you to walk in. Amen. That you won't be no spiritual punk. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah to God. God loves you. I'm talking to you, sister. I'm talking to you who's been trying to debate. Well, you know, it sounds good. No, the Lord is calling you out of that place. The Lord is calling you away from your people. The Lord is calling you to a brook where that can sustain. Hey. Yes. Every brook yes. can sustain everybody. Yes. The Lord is calling many of you into salvation. Mm -hmm. He loves you. And he proved his love over 2,000 yes, years ago yes. when he sent Jesus to die on the cross oh, for you. And he yeah. gave you a chance to either accept yes. him or reject him. Yes, right. He loves you. This is the simple plan yes, of salvation. Yes. It's real simple. The ABCs of salvation. Ask, believe, and receive. Ask Jesus to come into your heart. Believe that he died on Calvary's cross. And then do what? Confess. I say, what I say? <laughs> ABC, you got it. Ask, believe, confess. God loves you. You don't have to feel nothing. You ain't got to shout. I want to pray a simple prayer with you. And I'm talking to at least five people. There are five of you tonight. Don't you click off yet. You get ready to make the best decision you can ever make. God loves you. Why don't you pray this simple prayer with me from your heart? 
Say this out of your mouth. Say, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus I, ask you I ask you to come into my heart, to come into my heart and save me. And say, I, realize I realize that I am a sinner, that I am, a that sinner, I am in need of a Savior. Of a savior. Jesus, is that savior. Jesus is that Savior. He is, is the only way, he is the only to, way God the to God the Father. I believe, I believe that you died on the cross, that you, died on you, the cross. Suffered. you suffered, you bled, you bled. and you died, and you died. just for me. Yes, you me. took care of my sin problem. You took care of my you sin You took problem. all of my sins upon you. You took all of my sins upon you. And gave me. And gave me. Your righteousness. Your righteousness. I receive it tonight. I receive it tonight. I accept Jesus Christ. I accept Jesus As my Christ. personal. As my personal. Lord and Savior. Lord and Savior. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Fill me up. Fill me up. To overflowing. To overflowing. So that I can live. So that I can live. A victorious life.
from now on, until, you know, further notice, our service live. 10.15 on Sundays, 6.15 on Tuesdays, and if we have a drive-in service, it'll be at 9 a.m. Why? Because it's too hot. Amen. Amen. I love you all so much. Amen. Look, if this was a blessing to you, why don't you share it with somebody? Amen. Listen, go and have a blessed rest of the week and know this. I want you to say this the rest of this week. Well, every day you get up, something good is going to happen to me. Come on, say something good. Something good is going to happen to me. Listen, be blessed. Have a good night. We'll see you on Sunday. Love you. Amen. 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 Amen.